Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little different and very cool. We're going to turn a regular USB drive into a fully working Google TV device. That means you can plug it into almost any computer and use it like a smart TV. No Android box, no special hardware, just your USB. And here's the important part. We're not going to use the small 4 gigabyte setup you see in other videos. That doesn't give you much room for apps or updates. I'll show you how to use the full storage of your drive. So if you have a 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, or even 64 gigabyte USB, you'll be able to install more apps, more games, and get future updates without running out of space. When we're done, your USB will boot straight into Google TV with the Play Store, YouTube, Hotstar, and all your favorite Android TV apps ready to go. So grab your USB stick and let's turn it into a portable Google TV you can take anywhere. The first step is to download the Google TV archive file. I've added the Google Drive link in the description below. Go ahead and download it from there. This file contains Google TV ISO file that we are going to install on our USB drive. Now open a new tab and search for Rufus. Open first website and download its latest version. Rufus is a free tool that writes an operating system onto your USB so your computer can recognize it as a bootable device instead of just storage. Once both files are downloaded, go to your Downloads folder. Right-click the zip archive and choose Extract All. When it finishes, open the new folder you'll see two important things, the Google TV ISO file and a folder called Storages. The ISO is the operating system image we'll use in Rufus to make the USB bootable. Inside the Storages folder, you'll see multiple storage files in different sizes, like 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabytes. These act as the internal storage for Google TV. The bigger the file you choose, the more room you'll have for apps, games and updates. Now open Rufus. Plug in your USB drive. I'm using a 64 gigabyte USB 3.0 stick, but you can use anything from eight gigabytes and up. For a smooth experience, I recommend 16 gigabytes or higher. Rufus should detect your USB automatically. If you're using an external SSD, check the box that says List USB Hard Drives so it appears in the device list. Now click Select and choose the Google TV ISO file you extracted earlier. You'll see an option called Persistent Partition Size. This controls how much space is reserved for storage. Drag the slider all the way to the right to use the maximum available space. Here you have to choose your device partition style. To check your partition style, simply search System Information on Windows search bar and open it. Here you will find BIOS mode. If it says UEFI, then choose GPT. And if it says Legacy, then choose MBR. After that, leave all settings as it is and click Start. When it's done, congratulations, you now have a bootable Google TV USB drive. Right now, if you boot it, you'll only get about 3 gigabytes of total storage, which isn't enough for most users. So, let's fix. 
Right-click the Windows Start button and open Disk Management. Find your USB drive, which is always last one. Rufus has already created two partitions, a small boot partition and one called Persistence. The problem is that the Persistence partition is formatted as FAT32, which has a strict 4GB file limit. To fix this, we'll reformat it to XFAT or NTFS. Right-click on the Persistence partition and select Delete Volume, then Confirm. You'll see the space become unallocated. Now, right-click on that space and choose New Simple Volume. Go through the wizard. Make sure to set the file system to XFAT or NTFS. Now your USB has two partitions, one boot partition created by Rufus and one new volume we just formatted in XFAT. First, open the boot partition. You'll find a file named system.sfs. This contains the Google TV system image. Cut it from here and paste it into new volume. Now go back to the folder where you extracted the Google TV archive earlier and open the Storages folder. Inside, you'll see several pre-built storage files. Choose one based on half of your USB size. For example, for a 16GB USB, use the 8GB file. After choosing the right one, extract it. Inside, you'll find a file named data.img. Copy that file. And paste it into the new volume. Once done, your USB is fully ready. To boot into Google TV, keep USB plugged in and restart your computer. When logo appears, Press the Boot key of your PC to enter into Boot menu. Now select your USB drive and press Enter, and Android TV Setup window will open. If your PC is not booting into Android TV, make sure your secure boot is off. This is different for different PCs, so watch any video according to your PC brand and turn it off. Now a screen appear with several Android 13 kernel options. Start with the normal kernel first. If you get a black screen, try one that mentions external display. Those are optimized for HDMI or DisplayPort output. The system will now start loading. The first boot might take a bit longer while it sets everything up. If you're using a USB 3.0 stick or SSD, it'll load faster. And there we go. The Google TV setup screen is now on your display. Now set up Google TV according to on-screen instructions. And that's it. You've successfully installed Google TV 13 on a USB drive. Now you can carry your personalized smart TV in your pocket. Just plug it into any computer and enjoy the full Google TV experience anywhere, with your apps, playlists and settings ready to go. If this tutorial helped you, give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more detailed guides and tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.